Iron Lung. The game I'm sure you've seen everyone play at this point. Uh, I've watched a couple people play it, so I do actually... I'm not com completely blind, unfortunately. Uh, it's a little, little spoiled. I didn't watch till the end of the game, though, so I don't know what happens towards the end, but I get the fundamental. And it looks good. It looks good. So let's continue. This is the first time I've actually loaded this up, so... Decades ago, every known star and habitable planet vanished, leaving only those who were on space stations or starships. This event became known as the Quiet Rapture. With supplies dwindling and infrastructure crumbling, sur survivors are searching for any trace of natural resources in a universe of barren moons, lit by ghost light of vanished stars. One such moon holds a strange anomaly, an ocean of blood. Strange indeed. You are a convict tasked with exploring this anomaly in the makeshift sub-submarine nicknamed the Iron Lung. It was not designed for this depth, so you will be welded inside and the forward window will be sh closed. There was no time for training. It was, if successful, you earn your freedom. Yeah, okay. Okay. Press the key to continue. There we go. Beginning at descent. Oh. Cruising depth in roughly 40 seconds. Stand by. Um, I'm seeing some voltage irregularities in the instruments, so keep an eye out deeper for and deeper or anything we go. like that. That's kind of creepy how deep we go. Approaching maximum depth. Uh, the hole's feeling it, but it's still holding strong. Closing porthole shielding. Well, okay then. We're starting to lose radio signal. You'll be at cruise depth soon, so respecting and be careful. You're on your own. Good. Good luck. Oh, that mouse sensitivity. Uh, okay, turn it down by the hardware. Okay, mouse one under our tab map B briefing. Oh. So like I said, I'm a little familiar with it. I didn't spoil too much, though. This was not here, though, when I was... Interesting. Yeah, this was not here. What is this? Post Grameki here. I'm just chiming in here to say this is how we're going to do the editing in this video for the codex here. This codex takes me about 8 to 10 minutes to read all the way through because there's a lot of queries. I'm going to just move it to the end of the part so you can stick around uh, after the initial part is concluded and it's going to fade off into the codex which is going to put us right back there so i think that's just better as far as just flow of the footage and the gameplay i think this detracts from it and in the future in the comments if you feel i should just leave that in and other in future games just without pushing it to the end of the video then let me know but i think it's just better that way and i uh, yeah that's it yeah back to the video i might just edit that like towards the end of the video just so it doesn't get in the way of the gameplay sorry i just got glued on that but that wasn't there in the videos i watched so it must be new what is this oh yeah the camera neat okay where are we we have to orient ourselves here okay so we are let's see uh we're x x X. This is X. Okay, so we are 185. So we're like right here. 185. X. 116. Y. So. Like right here, basically. And one. So like, yeah, like right here. Yeah. Just about. Okay, so we should probably turn a little bit. Okay, so we just probably hit... Okay, so 187X. I'll get confused. I haven't read a graph like this in a little while. Okay, so... Yeah, way here. Yeah, like, or like right here. Yeah, like right here. Okay. So we should be fine if we just go straight from here. So what do we need? We need to go... 
very far out actually. So we should be good till about 200. This is different. I'm usually used to games with mini maps. This has been spoiled. We should be fine though. So why 166? We should like right here. We should be fine. We'll avoid it. Maybe. <laughs> as soon as we clear that, we should be able to do a hard right. Okay, we just cleared it. So we're like right here. Yeah, 200 x. So if we follow 200 x, so if we go perfectly sideways, maybe a little bit upward didn't follow all the way to Y 190 basically or not 190 but basically just follow this line we should be fine it's really uh, kind of unique orienting oops sorry orienting yourself with this game for sure oh stop okay we are now oh wait 322 we need to go 322 So we need to go to 180, not 86. Ah, shit. Alrighty, let's turn it all the way around. There we go. By the way, how's the oxygen level? Is that timed or is that. Oh my god, I keep overshooting it. Uh, does it have to be perfect? Yeah, I guess it needs to be perfect. Which direction is this? Oh, 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 that, okay. I just understand what A was. Okay. A is your orientation, like it's the arrow. Okay, so it wants me to be 33. Okay, okay. Oh, no, 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 way too far, overshot that. Perfect, okay. There we go. Nice. Tutorial's over. <laughs> I'm assuming this one just had no threats. So if we, uh, if I'm reading this right, if we just go a little diagonal, should be good. Maybe go a little out. Maybe to like 200 Y. Okay, 200 Y. So we're about right here. Okay, maybe a little further. Maybe 210. Now if we just go like this. Maybe like that. And we need to be 268. Okay, yeah, I think I think we can literally just hold this down. It will be clear. So we need to stop at uh, 378 and 263. Stop. Good enough. Maybe. Maybe not. Okay, orient slightly. There we go. Okay, so we're what 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 orientation are we wrong? Okay, three seventy eight. Three. Okay, I don't get it. Okay, maybe go backwards just a little bit. Just a, just just a little bit. Just a little. I think we're going the wrong way. Shit, I am. All right. Perfect. More teeth. Looking. I don't know what the heck that is. Creepy. Got this. This really, game really does have a very creepy atmosphere to it. 
All right, so we are here at yeah that. So if we just go diagonal until we hit like a this right here. Yeah, I think we'll be fine. We literally just go diagonal. Yeah, until four while uh, four oh six and two fifty nine. What the fuck was that? Why did it? Why did we like vibrate? Did we hit like something? What was that? Maybe that's what we hit. Maybe we hit some like just like things on the ocean floor, or sorry, the blood ocean floor. Okay, maybe a little bit that way. Excuse me. Hmm. Creepy. a lot to travel and traverse, so I'm just going to hold this down for a while. We need to go all the way 406 on Y and 269. Oh, fuck. Christ, we do have oxygen timers. That's not good. I wasted too much time on the computer back there, or the terminal. Not good, not good, not good. Sorry for being a lot of really quiet, honestly. I'm just kind of captivated by the uh, by the ambience. It's very unsettling. I'm, I'm pretty on my f toes here. At the edge of my seat kind of thing. Uh, damn it. Alright. What do we got? I did something wrong. So, wait, Y406, X250, okay, I, whoa, I am way off, oopsie, whoops, ooh, that's a very uh, uncomfortable sound, I, I don't like that. Okay, so face a little bit this way. We're too close to it. Need to beeline backwards a little bit. So we need to get closer. I don't understand. Why is this not good enough? So to okay, I need to change the X. So I need to rotate. This thing is a uh, very uh, sensitive on the numbers. This game really wants it to be what it wants to be. Good, we got it. Okay. So I think it'd actually be more efficient to just, uh, you know, let's go through this way, see if we find anything. And right, so we'll just turn to the right here, angle ourselves slightly in favor of X, or X, yeah. Okay. And go. Until we hit an indicator in front of us, basically. Wow, this is, this is something else. Huh. It's like a different kind of horror, you know? So we just passed over this right here. So we 
just continue forward until we get an indicator in front of us and then we directly go downward so we just hit here i think maybe wait that doesn't make any sense maybe we're here so let's Oh, uh, oh, uh. okay. So we need to, so we're like right here, I think. Well, I could just check by looking at the diagram, silly, silly. Okay, so 450Y. Yeah, 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 we're pretty much right in that little nudge. So if we go, kind of hug the wall, should be fine. Hugging the wall is never a thing you'd hear in someone driving a submarine, though, but, you know. Thank God for proximity sensors, am I right? Jeez. What is over here, anyway? Apparently nothing. Alright, so where are we? Uh, th three... 373x. So we're about right here. About right here. Yeah. Except actually we're a little higher, like right here. Yeah, like we're literally right here. So if we're here and we just slightly go diagonal, should get be able to clear here. So yeah. Honestly, I, I trust this. I think I think if we just hold this down, we'll be good. Until we get an indicator or something in front of us, of course. And then, in which case, we obviously turn. Oh. Wait, that's odd. So we're right here. What? 358. Yeah, we're right here. Okay. So... Should be clearing this little nudge here soon. Okay, so if we oh, wrong one. So we just turn to the right, or technically the left. Uh, depending on how you look at it. Uh let's see. Yeah, okay, so then we just need to turn now right here. And now once we get through this little opening, we can start orienting ourselves with the you know. Excuse me. Oh, great! That's 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 what we like to see in here. You know, when we're in a submarine, we like bursting bolts and welds. You know, that's what we like to see. Okay, so we need to go 560x 222y. So y 222. So we are about right here on the y-axis and four hundred. Oh, it's just disoriented. Yeah, we're like right here. So I'm gonna say we go down to 300 Y and literally just follow that line. Maybe we might not might not have cleared the opening as much as I thought. Get the, down to 300 at Y and just follow along that line. And then we will, a slightly downward angle. So we need to get 560X. And what is again? 277Y. This should actually just get us here. Yeah, we should be able to just get there by just wholly holding this down. Yeah, yeah. Maybe we'll eventually we'll have to correct a little bit, but I think this is pretty much... Excuse me? Hmm. Oh, I went too far. 
Set that slightly upward. So now we just try to get ourselves oriented as perfectly as possible with X. I don't like that. I don't like the implications of that. Oh boy. We we are not alone in these waters. Okay, so uh, we need to orient it for well first actually we should probably go slightly higher. Back to 560. Stop. Okay. So 43 orientation or angle, whatever the A stands for. Close enough. At least it should be. The hell is that supposed to be? And what is that to the right on the image right here? What what is this? That's concerning. E. Okay. So yeah, so we need to go to 613 and 170 197. So I think we just go slightly diagonal from this position. We should be good. So what's the 197 one? 613. Well, uh, so far so good. Crew, we're doing well. Creepy. Yeah. Very, very creepy. I think I'm going too far. Yeah, I am. On the Y axis, anyway. So, so we just need to go slightly up, that's all. Slightly diagonal. the orientation 55 55 here we come I don't know why I didn't go the other way I just went the long way for no reason like really long for no reason so 55 was it yep I guess it should be it yeah that doesn't look like a whale to me I don't know what that is just get a better look at the face Is that a, what is that? A dinosaur? Okay, so we need to go here. Okay. Fascinating. This is fun. So captivated by this game. I don't know why. So we should probably orient ourselves just a little bit. So we should go on 250Y. Yeah. Yeah, 250Y. We're too low. What, I, what am I doing? Way too low. 
think I'm reading this right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to go 250. We are like right here. I might hit that actually, but we'll see. I love how accurate this game's proximity proximities are. I think this game was made in Unity, wasn't it? So, as far as I know, it is. I guess I should probably mention that in the intro, maybe if I know it. Yeah, this game was made in Unity, so. Close enough. Okay, so we are, I know we're exactly where we are. We literally are right here. So if we follow this line, maybe after we get about 700x, um, we go slightly higher, so. Yeah, this should work. This should, this should, this should do it. So now we should be about right here. And now if we go on the X line, slightly diagonal, and just hold it down, we should s slide right in there until we get a bottom. Excuse me? Show yourself. What are you? What animal are you? What kind of fish? Are you are you the I'm gonna kill you kind, or are you the I'm a I'm a dolphin and I want to swim with you kind? Uh, I don't know, man. Killer whale or nice whale? What are you? I don't I don't want to die. Thank you. Oh, we're good. Okay, so we hit this, so we need to go higher. So about like that should be good. Okay, now we're in this middle of it, so if we just straighten ourselves out, we should clear it. Ah! Hmm. What the fuck? Well, okay then. And I guess we're gonna call that a part. I didn't expect that. Uh, this is probably gonna end up being a multi-parter. It seems kind of long. So, uh, on that note, I will see you guys next time. You know what to do if you liked it. And the game will be in the description if you want to try it out yourself before we finish it. See you next time. Take it easy. And here is the terminal uh, footage I was speaking of. Feel free to listen to this or continue to the next part. Take care, everyone. See you next time. A 357 EIC without any prior warning, radio contact with our respective planets was suddenly cut. Nobody can recall having visual contact with any planets when the incident occurred or experiencing any other unusual phenomenon. So it's, it's uncertain what exactly might have happened. Upon investigation, it was observed independently by several stations that there was, or there were, that, wait, that where there, oh, where there had previously been planets, nothing remained. Further investigation over the following months revealed that all known planets with sentient life, uh, flora and fauna, a habitable atmosphere, or any sort of natural resources were un un likewise gone. Along with all known stars, the only celestial bodies that have been found since are either un unhabitable moons or asteroids. Many theories have been proposed for this disaster, including religious interpretation of it as, a, as the literal rapture, some unknown quantum anomaly, or some something more cosmic or sinister. There is no concrete answers yet. I mean, in my opinion, and we'll look more into that, it looks like there's a highlight on EIC. Type that in a second. In my opinion, maybe it's just something to do with like a galaxy grade, uh, maybe multi galaxy grade life uh, species. Just, just came here and s took all the resources maybe with like some kind of weapon what is eic epoch of interplanetary colonization epoch of inter it, it, the, the eic uh uh is an interstellar calendar standardized adopted with the establishment of the first off earth colony on mars in 1992 found my birth year uh zero eic was it was is the predetominant calendar and th used throughout the known galaxy. Although before the quiet rapture, many de departed switching over to a more standardized measurement of, of years. IMC or interstellar Martian calendar was spe especially popular uh, 
owing to a large population residing on Mars. After the Quiet Rapture, all stations in Starship Alliances still use EIC, aside from Eden, which uses IMC. Eden. Space Station Eden is the largest man-made structure that still exists in the wake of the Quiet Rapture. It was formerly the, uh, the main station for Mars and Publis still Publis still maintain a strong sense of Martian patriotism and independence, making them a c constant threat to the s sanctity and security of the COI. It has current population of 468. It has only known remaining three, wait, has no only remaining trees in its I interior garden. Sorry, I'm really bad at reading apparently. Still, cons inconsistent. Out loud, I'm so much better at reading in my head. I'm just one of those people that just can't read out loud very well. The e e COI consists Eden a threat to all collective well-being after their attacks on filament station. There's a lot to look into here. Okay, first off, what is the C or just C dot dot O dot I? Uh, I okay, can't put periods. The COI, COI. There we go. The consolidation uh, of iron Consulta co consolidation of iron uh, or COI is a brotherhood of three space stations and two spacecrafts found on the principle of collecti collectivism and ruled by a popular vote of all citizens numbering 257 at the time of the entry its name comes from iron and steel maybe I should start moving this uh, submarine <laughs> It's a custom of steel uh, and iron, the materials the two main stations are constructed from. The principle of the, uh, unity and togetherness is in the face of menace from other surrounding stations, such as Eden. What is filament station? The bridge slow. Uh, oh, redacted, apparently. Oh. Filament station was the fourth and largest uh, space station in the COI until 362 EIC when tensions between the COI and Eden erupted. In the nine day battle of the stations, the conflict battle ended unresolved when Eden troops resorted to sabotaging the station's reactor resulting in a critical breach. Redacted. The breach would left filament stations uninhabitable due to high levels of radiation and has sat empty since. Prisoners when sorry, prisoners taken during the conflict have been undergoing conviction realization in the years since. But the final ones expected to repay their debt and integrate into COI society by 381 C E I C. Okay, so Mars. What's come of Mars in this world? Mars body, the fourth planet from the sun and the site first off world colony in 1992 A D zero EIC, Mars was most populated most populated planet in the solar system before the quiet rapture rapture, surpassing Earth. How the fuck did that happen? What? Huh. And 143 EIC, so I guess a lot happened in those 143 years. Interesting. Now all that remains of Mars former glory is the Eden Space Station. Alright, so uh Conviction realization. A humane form of criminal, uh, criminal justice used by the COI were crimes and repaid by rendering service to the general collective. Often this is performing survey maintenance or other similarities of benefic beneficial tasks. Okay, we should probably actually play the game now, huh?